This is Countdown to Christmas, Day 2. Yesterday I said, there's no doubt that Jesus Christ has left his mark upon our world. He has influenced you in ways you might not have realised. The historian Tom Holland recently said this, People in the West, even those who may imagine that they have emancipated themselves from Christian belief, in fact, are shot through with Christian assumptions about almost everything. All of us in the West are a goldfish and the water we swim in is Christianity. And so for the next few days, in our countdown to Christmas, I want to point out some ways in which Jesus has influenced you. The waters you swim in are the waters of this man, Jesus Christ. Your values, how you think, your sense of justice, he has influenced you in ways you might not have thought before. Now, the point I'm making is that Jesus Christ has left his mark upon the Western world. For example, today, many of our values are very different to the values of the Roman world into which Jesus was born. Now, the historian Mary Beard writes of the Roman world being a terrifyingly vicious place. As she writes, that means not just the slavery, the filth, there was hardly any such thing as refuse collection in ancient Rome, but also the human slaughter in the arena. Also the newborn babies thrown away on rubbish heaps, the child brides. Now why is it that in the West today we couldn't countenance newborn babies being thrown away on rubbish heaps? Why is it that gladiators no longer fight to the death in the arena? Roman society was a society where not only babies were thrown away on rubbish heaps, but it was also a place where there was the sanctioned sexual exploitation of the lower classes. The Roman philosopher Musonius Rufus wrote, Every master has full authority to use his slave as he might wish. Now why is it that today we value something we might call humanity? Now why is there such a thing as, as human dignity? Where does the concept of human worth come from? If my existence is accidental, why do I have more dignity than anything else? Now why shouldn't the powerful use the weak for their own purposes? Now today we, we would not countenance infanticide. Uh, today, laws are, are made to punish sexual exploitation. Uh, but those things weren't considered at all in Roman civilization. What changed in the West? Well, not only does the Bible say that men and women are unique because they are made in God's image and after his likeness, but also this, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is all that it is to be God, he became man. He was born in Bethlehem. Societies in the Western world became humane because Jesus became human. Where have your ideas, where have your ideals about human dignity and worth come from? What has influenced the West? And why might we consider all people to have worth? What influenced the West? Well, this man, Jesus Christ. He gave dignity to humanity by becoming man himself. He who is God became man in order to stoop down and rescue us from our sin. Every human life has worth. But also consider this. Jesus Christ is personal. Now, that is, you can know him, and real life is knowing him, Jesus Christ. Now, come back tomorrow for day three to find out more.